We're asking, will the Arizona battleground support him in 2020? Here to weigh in is former Tucson police officer Brandon Tatum. Sir, thanks for being here. Yeah, good morning. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these numbers here. The miles of the border wall that have been built so far, 110 miles have been completed. As you can see, 192 under construction. There's a 450-mile goal by 2020 and 509-mile goal by 2021. You think that's going to happen? Yeah, I mean, Trump is getting it done. And most rational people here in the state of Arizona understand that this is not a racist border wall or anything like that. He wants to protect the American people. He wants to protect Arizonans. And, um, you know, we want to stop the drugs from coming in here. We want to stop human trafficking and sex trafficking for going on. People are getting raped at the border. We do not want people to come over here um, having this false belief that it's a safe travel. We want people to come over here the right way so we can protect them. They can be safe. But most Arizonans understand that, and that's why President Trump is going to do very well this time around in 2020. All right, let's check out some of the uh, progress here on the Arizona section of the border wall. You've got 27.8 miles built, 93 miles contracted out. You're about uh, close to 30 percent complete. You hear sometimes about um, Hispanic Americans, maybe Central American Americans that uh, that are actually for the wall and for securing the border because they believe that their wages could be driven down by more illegal immigration into the country. Do you meet people like that in Arizona? Yeah, I meet people all the time that support the border wall because they're logical individuals and especially people who have migrated here legally. It is completely unfair and irrational to have people just walk over here and get some type of instant amnesty. Look, you got to wait in line like everybody else. There's a proper way to come through. If you come through a port of entry, if you're seeking asylum, there are laws in place that can help you. But people here in Arizona and a lot of people that I talk to, most of them are conservative individuals. They realize that the border wall is important and they believe that the president is doing what's right. Brendan, let's take a look at some more numbers out of Arizona. These are border apprehensions from peak, which was May 2019, to present January 2020. And you can see this decline in numbers from nearly 21,000 May of last year to just about 6,000, shy of 6,000 in January of 2020. Now, as we just mentioned, that the um, border wall is only 29.3% complete in Arizona. Those numbers, by the way, are the Yuma and Tucson sectors combined. So, uh, you know, the, the border wall is only 29.3% done. So I don't know if you can argue that it's just because of the wall. Do you think it's because of the conversation that's been going on in this country? Yeah, all of it together will deter people from coming over here. They know that we're building a wall. They know that we're going to enforce our laws. And so a lot of people aren't making the trick. And I'm hoping that they're preparing themselves to either stay in Mexico or they're preparing themselves to do it the right way. But I'll tell you what, people in Arizona, not only the citizens, but law enforcement in Arizona, Border Patrol agents in Arizona are, are excited about what the president is doing because it makes our job easier, makes our job safer. And, you know, I, you, it's a win-win for people here in Arizona. I, I can say that until I'm blue in the face, but I think most Arizonans will agree with what I'm saying, the sentiment that I'm saying, because... I mean, for the most part, we've been a red state, and I think we're going to keep it that way. Yeah, well, it's, it's a red state, but if you look, let's look at 2016 here, and you see the president uh, winning Arizona by, you know, less than four points, 48.1 to 44.6. Uh, it could be even tighter this time. Some of these states are starting to turn purple. What do you make of that? What do you think will happen this time? Well, I think in 2016, the president had no resume. I mean, people were still trying to figure out, was he serious or not? Yeah. And I think with the results that he's done all the way through to now, I mean, people are, are enthusiastic about the president. I was just at a 2A rally not too long ago. We had 200 people last year. This year, we had almost 5,000 people there. People are coming out. They're enthusiastic. And in 2020, I guarantee you, people are going to show up and they're going to support the president. All right, well, he's got a rally in Phoenix tonight, so we'll see what the turnout's like. Brandon Tatum, thanks yeah. so much for joining us. All right, thank you guys for having me.